Hello everyone, my name is Mike. Mad packages, bruh. And I'm chilling with the newlyweds, E.T. and Frankenstein Monster. This is the Bored Cyborg. Welcome back to yet another episode. Today I'm doing a pseudo unboxing. There are a couple boxes here, or at least one. But uh, this is more so like a mailbag sort of episode. So it's still in the unboxing realm, which I've been given, uh, bringing a lot of you guys, and you guys seem to enjoy it. The thing is, I love unboxing things when I get them in the mail anyway, and I never really thought to just film it and share it with you guys. I like this even more, sharing my excitement for the movies that I've picked up with all of you. So I'm going to move these slightly out of the way here to my left. Got my orange box cutter. I found this bad boy, the good box cutter, even though the blade is rusty and in desperate need of being replaced. Anyway, let's uh, crack this one open. So this one feels like a DVD. Obviously, these are all things that I, I've ordered over the last few weeks to a month. There are a couple international ones here, so those took quite some time to get to me. I'm going to be careful opening these things. And, yeah, first up. All right, so... I came across an inferior copy of this film, and I wanted to upgrade to the Celestial Pictures release. I know some of you guys are going to know this one. Challenge of the Masters. This is a Lu Chalong film, who I believe also goes by Lao Kar Lung. So, I'm still learning all my names. Lu Chalong and Lao Kar Lung. I believe there are two different, and I forget the names of the two different translations or translation styles that the English did uh, phonetically from what they heard from the Chinese languages, Mandarin and Cantonese. Forgive me, I am not an expert. This is just my base knowledge of this stuff. But uh, Lu, Chi Lu Chialang and Lao Kar Lung are the same director. And so this is one of his early films here. I'm, I'm not sure when this is from, to be quite honest. Um, you know, Lao Kar Lung brought us films like The Legend of the Drunken Master with Jackie Chan. I've talked about him in some previous videos. Uh, the 36th Chamber of Shaolin. And this is another one of his films here. So Challenge of the Masters with a nice slipcover. Not on Blu-ray, but it is by, on DVD by Celestial Pictures. Looking forward to cracking into this one. Let's see who it has. Um, actually, it has... <laughs> nice. Uh, Gordon Liu as Wang Fei Hong. So there you go. Um, which is an old Chinese legend, I believe, Wang Fei Hong. I think, I want to say the movie The Legend with Jet Li, he played a similar character, or was that Fang Sayuk? I'm learning this stuff, guys. Bear with me. Some of you are definitely going to know that. But that is first up, Challenge of the Masters. Next up, this feels like another DVD here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, sweet. Actually, this is... I hope it's not a DVD. It is a Blu-ray with a destroyed case. Uh, unfortunately, my, the Criterion case here is absolutely destroyed. I will be contacting this seller. Look, pieces everywhere. I will be contacting this seller. This video is proof that when I opened it, it was like this. So take a look at that. And these Criterion cases are manufactured by Criterion. You could buy new ones, which I'm going to have to do. So hopefully I can get some money off of this. It was a used copy of Kwai Yi Dan, by the way. Talked about this in my last unboxing video that um, I, I ran over to my collection a couple weeks ago and found that I hadn't, I had, did not have Kwai Dan and Kuroneko in my collection. I remembered I had to sell them off. I told this story already. Either way, this is the second of those Kwai Yi Dan. This is a Japanese sh anthology horror film from the 60s, 65, and I can't wait to watch this, but I'm pretty disappointed by the damage here. So actually, I'm going to keep all these little pieces in here so that I could take a picture of this and complain and hopefully get some money back. Always complain about things like this, folks, because... Nine times out of ten, 99 times out of 100, you will get some money back. Some people are just like, here's a full refund. It depends. And they didn't package it awfully. I mean, it's a bubble wrapper, but they should have put some cardboard. When I sell movies, I put something on the inside of the disc or the case so that the disc doesn't dislodge. I put two thick pieces of cardboard in with the bubble mailer, and I tape it up good. That is disappointing. I mean, I'm happy that I have the film, and I could always replace the case. But I'm hoping I get a couple dollars back to do so. So next up here, this one does feel like a Blu-ray. Oh yeah. So um, I picked up the faculty on DVD you guys saw uh, from one of my thrifting videos and I had an existing copy. 
sold both off for 15 bucks. So I made probably made around $11 after shipping, after shipping and fees and what I spent on them, maybe $10 each. And I picked this up for 25, got a really good price. I shot a best offer, that's another tip. Always shoot best offers over, be reasonable. This was up for 32, I said I asked for 25 and they accepted it. So I have the out of print, the very out of print copy of Miramax's The Faculty here. Of course, Robert Rodriguez, sort of late 90s slasher, sci-fi, body snatcher, weird, teachers turning into aliens or are aliens kind of movie. I love this movie. I love this era. This is my era, really, of horror when I was growing up. Of course, I grew up in the 90s, so I grew up with a lot of that stuff, but I started getting really into horror in the late 90s and mid-90s with, like, Scream, and I started watching these movies by myself. The Faculty is no exception. Really glad to have this in the collection. This used copy is in remarkable shape here, so can't complain at all. The artwork's perfect. The case is in really great shape. So Echo Bridge, I didn't know it was Echo Bridge actually, Miramax and Echo Bridge. So there you go, The Faculty, love this movie. Next up, this is one of the, yep, this is one of the international releases I ordered, I believe from Germany. So let's crack it on open and see what we got. All right, this is actually some insight into a video that I'm working on, that's all I'm gonna say. It's gonna be a, a good video, I, well hopefully it's a good video, I'm excited to do it. Uh, putting some work into it and putting some research into it. Can't wait to do it. I'm not going to say anything else. Heroic Trio. Ugh. It's got a loose piece of plastic or something, but I do have replacement clear cases. Heroic Trio 1 and 2, the double feature. Now, I wasn't sure if this was a legitimate release. I couldn't find much information on the, 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 on the internet about this company, which is called HDMV, GMBH. But... It looks like a legit copy, um, and it's got a nice slip cover. It's still sealed here. So take a look at that, guys. If you guys know anything about this release, please let me know. And I guess it does have a rating system thing there. So, you know what? Let's open up the DVD carefully and just go for it. Because I, I love the Heroic Trio, directed by Johnny To, one of my favorite Hong Kong directors out there, starring Michelle Yeoh, Anita Mui, and Maggie Chung, just a an all-star cast, very Charlie's Angels-esque, but with that Hong Kong flavor that just elevates this film to another level. It's phenomenal. Perfect shape. Okay, so the disc was loose when I opened it, but not dislodged um, upon receiving it. Little piece of plastic broken off from the spindle. Not too bad. It, hey, it was coming from Germany, right? Yeah, this looks like a legit release here. And I love that they have the reversible artwork, actually. They've got the Heroic Trio artwork there. And then the Heroic Trio 2 on the inside there. Now, this the reason I bought this is because the films are uncut. The films were butchered over here by Miramax, I believe it was, who's famous for butchering a lot of the Jackie Chan stuff. Either way, uh, this one is uncut. It does have, I believe it has the English language track, and it also has the Cantonese track, which I will be watching it on. Uncut, and it also has the English Untertitel. So, Untertitel. So that is the English subtitles there. Um, all German you know, text on the release here, but that doesn't bother me not a bit. This is a nice release of this movie. I'm hoping the transfer is solid. There was a more expensive Hong Kong release, but I went with this, which was about $15 cheaper, and I got it on a best offer, actually, as well. So, Heroic Trio. Can't wait to watch these uncut for the first time. Or, actually, I've never seen the second one, which I think is also called The Executioners. So, really looking forward to jumping back into that film and its sequel. Next up, we've got another used DVD here, The Buddhist Fist. So, I had a little problem. I ordered this, um, and it was a bootleg of the Tai Song release. It looked exactly like the Tai Song release, and I got it, and I was like, oh, this is not the Tai Song release. It's a bootleg of that one. And so, I shot a best offer to this person that was selling it for 15 bucks. I shot a best offer at 10 They accepted it. Perfect condition. It is used, but... This is, I mean, this is like it was just opened yesterday. It's brand new looking. Now, this uh, is a newly remastered transfer of the film presented in its original widescreen aspect ratio. Languages English, Cantonese, Mandarin. And it doesn't say subtitles, but I'm pretty confident it does have subtitles. At least I hope it does. I believe this is a Yin Wo Ping film. 
Um, and I am looking for, yeah, from the action director of The Matrix, Ying Wu Ping. It's so funny, he's known for The Matrix, but he has had, made countless Hong Kong action martial arts films for two decades before that. Of course, going back to like the work he did with Jackie Chan in the late 70s. So The Buddhist Fist, widescreen edition. I hope it has English subtitles. I thought it did. I did my research. But it does have the English language, Cantonese, and Mandarin. Buddhist Fist, do you guys know anything about this one? I'm not sure if it has any other names. I'm not aware um, if it does have any other names. I know you guys would know. Feel free to leave that down in the comments below. That rhymed. Let's go. Phew. Buddhist Fist. <laughs> All right, next up, we have a another international priority mail release here. I have an idea of what this could be. I've been waiting for one of these movies for going on three months. I think, well, no, about two months, I'll say. I don't want to look at that little manifest sticker thing. All right, yeah, this I ordered about a month ago from eBay. It's an 88 Films release. You guys know I'm addicted to these now, <laughs> thanks to a couple of my subscribers. You know who you are. And uh, House of Traps. I watched this on DVD last month, uh, well, a little over a month ago now, and I absolutely loved it. It's a solid, solid Venom's Hong Kong martial arts flick directed by Chang Chi. And uh, yeah, just a blast. It, it follows these... <laughs> This um, house of traps, essentially, that when people try to steal some of the artifacts are in, that are inside, the house uh, unfolds like a puzzle box, sort of, and it traps them in, and then it has a bunch of, like, archers and fighters that are unleashed from the walls, and then the stairs turn into, like, a death trap where they, they turn, um, like, sideways, I want to say, and, like, chop off the ankles of the people that are climbing them, and they're super sharp. Awesome stuff. House of Traps is great. Again, another Venoms film. This has some great performances by, by all of the Venoms here, especially, um, oh man, I'm forgetting his name. He played Mad Dog in, in Hard Boiled. Oh man, what's his name? Philip Kwok. I believe Philip Kwok is in this, at least. I could be completely wrong. Either way, all the Venoms do such a great job as they always do. This is a blast. Glad to own it on 88 Films Blu-ray. Woo! Let's go. All right, so should I save the box for last? I don't know if I should save Yeah, I'm going to save it. Maybe for less. Anyway, we've got an Amazon Prime package here in a an oversized envelope like they usually do. Let's see what it is. What is it? Phantom of the Paradise. Nice. You guys saw when I picked up the DVD from Goodwill, um, and I sold that off for, I think, 17 so I probably made around 13 bucks on it after shipping and fees, and then I picked this up for 18 brand new on Amazon Prime. Maybe it was like 19 Either way, didn't spend much money on this. Got the nice Scream Factory release of a film, a musical from the 70s that I have yet to see. Brian De Palma. Everybody who's seen this loves it, it seems at least. I've also not seen another famous horror musical from the 70s called Rocky Horror Picture Show. This seems like it's more my speed, though. I don't know. It's obviously like a Phantom of the Opera uh, rock Phantom of the Rock Opera, <laughs> we'll call it. Phantom of the uh, Phantom of the Paradise. Can't wait to check this out. Been wanting to see this for many, many years. Awesome, Phantom of the Paradise. I'm gonna save this one for last because I think I know what this is, and it's really exciting, actually. All right, so this package is actually from Right Stuff Anime. Now, somebody recently asked that, recently asked if I have checked out Right Stuff Anime. I have. I told them to stay tuned because here's a package from Right Stuff. Now, this is going to contain two of the three items I ordered from them because one of them was a pre-order. So, I'll talk about the pre-order, you know, when I when I get it. But these two films, I believe I know what they are. Now, I need to be super careful here because I do not want to damage what's inside of this. So, bear with me. Oh, they actually packaged it pretty cool because it's actually not one that's uh, down the down the top there. It's unfolds sort of. So very, very good packaging. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's awesome. Got a little ninja, ninja there. All right. Yep, this is two. Okay, yep, the two things that I thought it was. What's this? 33rd year. Uh, we got, uh, we've got a treat for you. Maybe it's like a, a discount or something like that. So I'll take a look at that later. Packaged very nicely, I will say. All right, so the first one's really cool. Actually, which one should I show first? I'll show this one first. <laughs> All right, so recently I caught wind. I'm going to move this out of the way. Caught wind, my buddy Anthony uh, let me know that they were releasing 
Armored Trooper Votoms in one concise package here with a shit ton of discs. So this is Armored Trooper Votoms complete collection. I've only seen a few episodes of the original show, the TV series, and I absolutely fell in love with it. And I can't wait to dig into the Blu-ray. Now, these are mostly standard definition, 480p. The uh, newer OVAs are in 1080p. So it wasn't an upgrade in terms of quality, but I sold off my three separate versions, the TV series, the OVA Part 1 and OVA Part 2 Blu-rays to fund this. And I made about... I made about 30 bucks doing that, and I got them now all in one precise or concise package, which is a no-brainer for me. Always trying to save space, and this just looks better, right? So this just looks great. And uh, like I said, I made 30 bucks selling the the other, the, the standalone versions, which I had kept sealed because I just hadn't gotten to them yet. So this has all 52 TV plus 39 OVA episodes plus six movies in standard definition and high definition on nine discs. Amazing. This had a full series on, tel on TV in Japan and then 39 OVAs that spanned, I think, everywhere from like 84 to like 2008. 8 or 2010 something like that they spanned a long time and they continued releasing them they haven't in in i don't know like i think 10 years or so but look at it 2515 minutes of armored trooper votoms talk about a vast series i loved what i well, i love what i've seen of this i can't wait to dig into this in probably the best we're going to be able to see it ever possibly i don't know if they have uh if they could get better transfers of the original tv show but either way, I'm excited to own this, very grateful, and I made some money selling off my copies, which is the way to do it, man, which funded some of these, as a matter of fact. You guys know how I do. Okay, so forgive the inferior lack of quality here. I'm filming this on my iPhone, but I forgot to show you guys something. I finished up the video, then I looked in the box, and I was like the, you know, the right stuff box, and I was like, no! And I had already taken all my equipment down, but I wanted to show you guys what was in that box So forgive the cutaway here the awkward cutaway. We'll go back to the regular setup in a second But I picked up Gappa the Trifibian monster a kaiju film from 67. This one's directed by Haruyasu Koguchi and I have not seen this have any of you guys seen this one. This is one of the unknown sort of kaiju films out there. I didn't even know this was on Blu-ray, to be quite honest, but Right Stuff had it, and I'm very excited to own it. Back to the regular scheduled programming. All right, last, but certainly not least, like I said, I believe I know what this is. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this is actually interesting because I didn't know that this was so comprehensive a set by Scream Factory, giving you guys clues. I just had no idea that it had all the films in the series. So I sold off all of my individual copies. I think I made not much. I made around 30 bucks after shipping and fees. And I bought this for, I think, 55 Brand new. The Fly! Woo-hoo! The Fly Collection, baby, with the original Fly. From the 50s, we have The Return of the Fly, The Curse of the Fly, The Fly, Cronenberg's The Fly with Jeff Goldblum from 1986, and we have The Fly 2, which is an underrated film from 1989 starring Eric Stoltz, I think directed by the guy who did the effects in Cronenberg's The Fly, Chris Wallace. So this is in great shape. It's not, uh, well, it's got a little nick at the top, but nothing that bothers me too much. This is awesome. I'm going to crack this open for you guys right now, as a matter of fact. It's got a little opening for me, as if it was meant to be. And I'm very excited to look at this, because I don't think we're going to get these films in any better edition here. So it's got the little piece of paper that some of you may be upset that I don't really care to have. So I'm going to toss that to the side. I like the artwork on the back anyway. Scream Fact always does such a remarkable job. Of course, the uh, originals have Vincent Price in them. I think he stars in Return of the Fly. I'm not sure if he stars in Curse of the Fly, but uh, he, and he was a side character in the original The Fly from 58. Fly 2, awesome that this is on Blu-ray. Again, I thought this set only included the original three. I thought the Fly Collection was just the original three from the 50s and 60s. I didn't know it included Cronenberg's and Chris Wallace's. So the Fly, Cronenberg, and we've got Curse of the Fly is, uh, no, okay, so Price, Vincent Price is not 
in this one. Uh, but he is in these two, Return of the Fly and The Fly. Gotta love the artwork. Let's see uh, if they have the reversible. Nope, but they got the nice artwork on the inside there. Photos from the films, shots from the films there. Awesome. I am so excited to have this collection. It's one I've been wanting to get before it goes out of print. I am grateful that I do now own it. That's a whole bunch of unboxings, unpackagings, whatever you want to call them, mailbag episode. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd love to know what your favorite piece out of the ones I showed off today is, so feel free to leave that down in the comments below, and we'll get a little discussion rolling. And I'd love to know any of the information that I may have gotten wrong. Please enlighten me. I am open to criticism. I am open to l being learned. <laughs> so please leave that stuff down in the comments below as well, and we're going to roll. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos like it, Go ahead and send this as well as the, the, for notifications. And I do have another announcement, guys. Some of you may have noticed that I have a Bored Cyborg t-shirt that I wear in some of the videos. I do have t-shirts now. The link is in the description below. Feel free to take a look at them. I've got them in a bunch of different colors and sizes, of course. I've got a hoodie up there and a few t-shirts. And every single purchase that is made definitely helps support the channel. And I can't thank you all enough for watching, nonetheless buying a t-shirt if you so choose to do so. So feel free to check that out along with subscribing and notifications and thumbs up and all the other cool things that help my channel out. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Anyway guys, I will see you all next time. Board Cyborg is out. <laughs>